Hey guys, and welcome to the second Dark Souls 2 bonus video, where I'll be showing you the Dark Lurker. Which is a fairly difficult, um, optional fight. You get here by completing the objective of the Pilgrims of Dark Covenant. Um, I joined that covenant... I don't know when. Probably the third time I saw the old man in the wheelchair. Oh, there you are. And what he does is he sends you into three separate dungeons that you have to run through. And at the end of each one you have to light a brazier. And then the difficult phase of the fight begins. You doing? Going for melee range. Don't know what the other one's doing. Wow. And there we go. Um, yeah. So he sends you into three dungeons, you have to go all the way through them and at the end of each one you have to light a fire and then basically you get to leave the dungeon through a kind of black portal-ish thing. And so yeah, once you've cleared the third one, the portal won't take you out, instead it'll drop you into this uh, boss fight. And yeah, this is how the portals look like, basically you just jump down there and you'll be out of it. But uh, yeah, after you've done all three dungeons, you get the Dark Lurker fight. Um, the annoying thing about it is, if you fail it, you have to go through one of the dungeons again, including clearing them. And they only have three or four enemies in them, but they're really tough enemies. Um, I th I'm, I'm not sure if they have like builds inspired by PvP, but... Um, they're just a lot stronger than your average enemies. They are maybe on par with the black phantoms that invade all around the all over the world. Um, you might also notice I'm not running my usual shield. The reason is that um, the dark lurker, except for the fireball attack, which you saw where three fireballs flew towards me, everything it does is dark damage, pure dark damage. And if you take the rebel gr rebel's great shield and infuse it with dark then it will block 100% dark damage. So this is just really advantageous because it allows you to block all their attacks. And um, it also has decent stability. So yeah, I just upgraded it to plus 10 and then infused it with dark. It's not good against physical attacks. As you can see, it's only got 75% absorption there. But against, ran uh, against the other elements, it's a really sturdy shield. It's quite good for those purposes. I mean, as you can see, it, it's miles ahead of the um, the Drang Lake shield, which I've been using previously. Okay, so that's the Dark Lurker. Probably one of the worst of the optional fights. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next boss. Bye-bye.